Let's take a look at the gas flow pattern and capnogram morphology that results from an incompetent inspiratory valve. But before we do that, let's look at the factors that are responsible for generation of a normal capnogram and the normal flow pathway in the inspiratory limb. Normally, a capnogram rises rapidly at the beginning of expiration and falls rapidly at the beginning of inspiration. The rapid decrease in CO2 concentration at the beginning of inspiration occurs because the CO2 that was previously exhaled and sits at the sample site is washed rapidly back into the patient at the beginning of inspiration. The rapid wash in occurs because the inspiratory limb is full of fresh gas and that fresh gas during inspiration rapidly washes the CO2 away from the sample site. When the inspiratory valve is incompetent and the patient exhales, the exhaled volume not only goes down the expiratory limb, it also can go backward up the inspiratory limb. Here, the CO2 sitting in the inspiratory limb is rebreathed at the beginning of the next breath. The rebreathing of CO2 delays the downslope of the capnogram because the capnogram won't drop all the way to zero until all the CO2 has been rebreathed, the CO2 that was sitting in the inspiratory limb from the previous exhalation. And we can see that there is a prolonged, delayed downslope on the capnogram when the inspiratory valve is incompetent.